Good afternoon, everybody, and significant fellow here, and we we've got more little stuff. The security guard really should keep a better lookout for me. But yes, we've got little stuff, and this time it's Greek, possibly. It sort of looks Greek. It sort of looks it sort of looks horrible as well. Like we're going to start with the, the worst looking collection of horror. Play of mystery. It's a load of things called er Eradness. Uh, what does that say? The original Gre oh Greek, yeah, I was right. I think I was anyway. But yes. <laughs> oh, hang on. As you can all clearly see through the world blurry's camera, it's octopus and soya oil. Yeah, Cause that's just what I fucking want on a Sunday. Sliced musky octopus and soy oil and brine ready to eat. 60% sliced mus musky octopus, more or less. 32% soy, soy oil, water, salt. Uh, I'm not going to enjoy this, but here we are. It's in a box, which is nice. Well, it's in a tin, which is um, oh. <laughs> a stickerless World War II ration looking tin. Alright then. Let's give this a go. Hang on, let me just need to adjust the camera a little bit. Point you down a bit more. There we go. What a wonderful view we've got today, children. It spat at me. Ooh, it smells like tuna. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at the phone. It probably looks like tuna through the viewfinder. I have to wipe my finger on the. On the Cloth I used to review videos. <laughs> Needs a bath anyway. Yeah. Oh, ooh, dribble. Look at all of that fantastic octopusnessness. I've never tried octopus. And I should imagine there are a million, trillion, billion better ways of trying it than out of a tin. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ew. <laughs> It's just a collection of bits of octopus. And you got like, the, the, the tentacle going on there. I'm going to try that tentacle because it looks slightly less scary. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is it? I'm not going to argue to degree, so this is what they're trying to feed me. I have bitten half of that. It tastes, it, it tastes like tuna, but there's something else there. <laughs> it's like tuna, but with anger issues. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that, but to be fair, I'm not eating the rest of that, but to be fair, if I was somewhere, I wouldn't have to pussy. I'd be like, oh, I might try that, I might be alright, because it tastes slightly of tuna. Possibly, maybe. Let's try something else. Anything fucking else. Um, I don't know. Let's try something that is still probably equally horrible. From the same thing, it's vine leaves stuffed with rice. Now, to be fair, this can't be horrible. But there's one thing that annoys me. This tin, it's um, it opens up. Oh, hello, goodbye. It opens upside down. <laughs> I don't know why like, this is it's kind of weird tin design. We in the um, retail industry would be very annoyed by stocking this because it would uh, be most difficult to make a stack of them stand up. But uh, yeah. Where are the in uh, instructions? I don't need them. The ingredients, even. Something with a letter I in it. We've got out of focus 60% cooked rice, water, and different rice, 10% vine leaves, onion, soya, oil, salt, dill, mint, black pepper, acid, citric acid. Apparently, Dublin's or London is the fault of this. Somewhere that I'm not has created evil. And I've got slightly oily things from that stupid octopus. Open sesame. Christ almighty, this tin puts up the fight. Oh, -hoo. Ooh, it smells like Blackpool. And that in the nice, we do like to be beside the seaside way. The open sewer that drains a bit too close to the fucking sea kind of way. I'm going to use the same plate just in case we need another one. But yes, there we go, it's vines. Didn't really need me to explain that to you, did you? Let's get one out and stab at it. Yes, it's a leaf with some rice inside of it. Oh, that 
Smells like licorice in all sorts. How? Vines licorice? Is this... Is this Bassett's secret they don't want to die anybody? I don't even know if it's called Bassett's. I can't think of the company now. Nine yards, help me. Yeah. That's a very, very unpleasant smell. On, like, all levels. Let's stab at it and see what's inside. Rice, I presume. Or a million spiders. Hmm. We're gonna... We're gonna try this off and I'm gonna hold me breath so I can't smell it. Help. <laughs> if someone offered that to me, you'd eat it. But you wouldn't like them anymore afterwards. You'd want to punch them in the face or drown them in a well. It's the smell why. The texture of eating leaves is there as well, which is a strange concept, but. Again, it is that smell. The rice is fine. There's a nice hint of that spice going on as well. You know, to say there's only onion and salt, but hey, yeah. yeah. Tell you what, I'm definitely putting off my Greek holiday. I think I genuinely would rather drown. Let's move that out of the way as well. I'm still on the way. You know what? Let's try something else that can't possibly be horrible. We've got this baklava assortment. It's like little sweets and noise. I've tried this before and so well, it's alright. Going to this here, it's a assortment of sweets. Like it's made from mouth watering, filler pastry, nuts and syrup. Ding! Beautifully handcrafted for a delicious Mediterranean style treat. Ding! And look, it's got many, many fats and saturates and sugars in there for you. I'll eat this if it's got nuts. So it even says what the all or individual on the back, which is nice. We've got some asabi, which is finely chopped cashew nuts, back of a diamond, filo bases, and we've chopped cashew nuts. There's a, I can't see what that says. <laughs> Bookage. Okay then. Dark chocolate truffle and a milk chocolate cashew. I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> that looks like a letter G, but it says cashew underneath it. But yeah. Let's open her up and give her a try. Let's get food poisoning. Yeah. Looks in a nice little plastic tray. Yeah. Oh, that is a nice smell. Lofts of back. Oh, God. What? I, can't, I want to try them all, but I can't. I'm going to try the milk chocolate one. I'm going to try a couple of them, because they're mostly similar. Oh, this is a nice smell. You wouldn't like these if you didn't like nuts, by the way. I don't know if that's um, been made blatantly obvious, but if you... Or oh, horrifically allergic to peanuts, or just can't stand them, don't eat the claw because it's mostly cashews and peanuts and other nut varieties in here. Yes, there's chocolate on there, but it's mostly nuts that have been pulverised. Mm. Oops, that's my finger. Yes, that's very nice. I'm glad after two tins of death, we've now finally had something nice. I don't know where anything's cold. Dropping things. Let's try the... Uh, Asabi? Awesabi? Who knows? Ooh. Very, very crunchy. Yeah, very nice. If you see stuff like that in Lidl, again, do buy it. It's intriguing. What next? I don't know, a bag. It's a lot of paper to me too. <clears throat> Sunflower seeds, it's the milk jar with a poor man's raisins. Now, you've got one of them annoying plastic things on the um, on the top, but I can guarantee that is almost 100% a blatant fucking lie. And I will take this off and the bag will remain sealed for all eternity. Yes, see look, it's a lie. It would have been hilarious if they all rolled out there. 
I don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. I come prepared. Ten out of my forks, a sort of plate, scissors. No, no. Oh, they got everywhere. Casey's. Ugh. Come here. Come here, the lot of you. Put them back in there. There's a straight one over here. Come here. But yes, it's, it's blatantly obvious what these are. I don't need to read the ingredients because it literally has a sunflower seed with some chocolate on it. Now, strangely enough, I've never eaten sunflower seeds. It doesn't exactly appear on the um, great British person's diet. You know, cider, crisps and Yorkshire puddings tend to be on there, but seeds, mm, not so much. So let's, let's, come here, I want three fairly decent sized ones and let's see what they taste like. Oh, they're not hard sunflower seeds, they're going to be quite bitey. Oh. Oh no. Oh, they are deeply unpleasant. Oh, we've gone straight back down fucking hell from them sweets. Yeah. Oh, to make it stop. Oh. It's like licking the lid from a bottle of sunflower oil. Ah. Oh. It tastes like what a lot of chippies smell like early in the morning when the fryers are still boiling up. Boom. That's deeply, deeply unpleasant. But now I need this plate, possibly. Let's look at something else that might be nice. They look nice. And I've been lied to before. It's this. <laughs> a very long word. Cork a bean be Cork a beaner? Cork a beaner. Go with that, shall we? I'm sure someone will at eventually, some point in time, correct me on half the things I've gotten wrong on this channel. But these are vanilla flavoured pastries and syrup. Can't go fucking wrong with that. Let's find our language so we know what we're eating. German, that's French, Dominican Republic. There we go. And the light does not help. Focus. Sugar, water, wheat flour, glucose, vegetable oils in varying proportions. I like that. Cotton seeds, sunflower, major, and vegetables, vitamins, nothing dangerous there. We've yet to come across E numbers, so I like grease. Ah, I don't like their fucking use of octopus and seaweed, but. Mm, you know. I don't like all countries' use of certain things either. I don't know what to use this scissors. I do fear eating oily things at the start of the video has, in fact. I've had my ability to open anything. I do believe if I didn't bring these in, we would have had to jump cut about 400 times last I peeled skin off the hands in order to gain grip. Huh. Yeah. I suspect he'd be in some sort of sealed box. Because, you know, you can't just put them in a bag. Ah, damn it. Yeah, it's little, little things of pastry. Has a camera. With syrup. Can't really go wrong. I can't imagine you'd include this in your uh, diet. But well, look, some of them are swimming in the syrup. Yum. Ooh. Ooh, that's a nice smell. Ooh, it's, it smells like a posh pastry shop. Chatwins have been lying to us. They just got a box of these under the register with the fan. Let's eat this one. <laughs> Very syrupy. The pastry almost doesn't taste cooked. I haven't got to put these in the oven now. <laughs> now there's no cooking instructions, so <laughs> I can only assume that's the texture, but it's alright. Yeah, that is by far the nicest. Mm, it's on par with them sweets. One of the nicest things I've tried in quite some time on this channel. Mm. They get to live. They're going, they're going straight in the kitchen and my parents can pick at them. And then let's look at the problem child. From the second I bought this box, you consistently fall open and run off and hid. It's poor design. It's almond hal halva. We tried halva before. Well, let's try this one. It comes in a log form. Which is nice. In a box it disintegrates when you look at it too hard. At least I can fold it properly and hold it as a thing. 
Okay, it's ground test me see glucose and what? Soap wort, I don't like the sound of that. It says extract of soap wort and flavouring. Doesn't say what flavouring though, so it's just fucking flavouring. <laughs> be anything. Tomato sauce flavouring, hair flavouring, window flavour, you know. <laughs> Hmm, it looks like a combination of that bondo you'd put in that uh, tiles and your wall if you kick this, and um, a block drain. <laughs> it's, it's, um, let's use this uh, stabber to, hmm, to put up quite the resistance to a fork. Well, you kind of hold the fork, so let's say if you don't like this, you could always use it as a makeshift fork holder. the fork back. That's there's no real way of eating this, is there? It's just sort of a, a slab in a fucking thing. It's making a fucking dinging noise. Let's snap a bit off. Yep, it's genuinely it's like breaking up rotten wood. <laughs> Stupid. Oh. It's making me do it with one of them Glade uh, automatic air freshers behind me and keeps wafting me with smell. Yeah, see, this is what you've got. It's um, actually, upon breaking it open, it looks like a um, <laughs> fiberglass boat bit. I don't want to eat this, can you tell? Ugh. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a tripod. This goes over here in a Deathville. But other however I tried. It's alright. I wouldn't have it if you'd said, oh you want some alva like, and I don't mate. That's just It doesn't really taste right. It, it tastes like it's got the texture of halva, you've got that bit correct, but it just sort of has no real taste. So all you're left with is, is this overwhelming notion that you're chewing on paper. They're nice though. Let's buy all and we'll buy them. But yes, this has been a Greek special. Yeah, we're going with that. A Greek special from Lidl again. Which would remind me, I actually need to go in there tomorrow before work. So we'll see what we've got in then. <laughs> we're running out of countries, really. Russian wouldn't, would, special wouldn't be bad, would it? Well, no, to be fair, we've already had a lot of Russian things. Maybe we'll get an American special in and we'll get the same old crap that you get in every supermarket that pretends it's American. With giant marshmallows on fooling me. But yes, if you liked what you've seen and you can deal with my incoherent rambling, why not subscribe to the channel now? And uh, then you'll get to see all my videos, especially if you press that bell button, because apparently YouTube still is 100% broken. But don't worry, they'll solve that the second someone else brings a platform out that looks like it could beat YouTube's ass in 15 minutes. Goodbye.